All right, so here we are in uh, Topeka, Kansas, and uh, we're over here with a Citation 560 XL. And we got the guys from Dallas Automotive over here because these little engines are going to need some love, and they're going to get some hot section inspections going on. Right now, I got One Todd way. from uh, I got Todd from Dallas Automotive over here out here bust these engines apart. Todd, why don't you tell me what we're doing over here? Good morning, Kevin. Uh, we're doing a hot section inspection. Start at the rear of the engine. Disassemble and work our way forward till we get to the money hole. Till you get to the money hole. The money hole. Oh, oh, is that where all the money that's goes? That's where all you're... the money. Uh, that's where we, all the, their money goes to us. All right. Okay. Well, you guys have got a good start on here. What do you got here? This uh, the diffuser you got going yeah, on this here. Yeah. Uh, this yep. help for uh, noise abatement or something. Fabricated exhaust duct um, and exhaust duct. Um, that's about it. Get your temperature probes. Uh, this uh, where you get your uh, hooks to your teeth. Five trim resistors. T6, yeah. T6, T6 trim leads resistor. there. Yep. And that uh, translates up to your ITT indicator in the cockpit, right? That's Tells correct. you how hot the engine's running over there, boys and girls. There you go. All right, I noticed you were over here a little while ago working on the fuel nozzles. That's it looks correct. like a fuel manifold. That's it. That's okay, it. 11 well, fuel nozzles. 11 fuel nozzles. Tell you us bet. about these. They're, a, they're called a duplex nozzle. They're a primary and a secondary flow pattern. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, Is that like something to do with starting the engine? Yeah. Yep, you'll well, start on the primary, you start on the primary nozzles and uh, well, how does it know to start on primary? You got a switch in the it, cockpit to no, change no, no. it? No, no, no. It's that smart. <laughs> it's that smart, huh? It's, it's that smart. This, this through the FADEX system, right? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is a label. But, yep, okay. yeah, uh, they're all manifold together. You get a primary and secondary coming in. Um, oh, okay. So it's a nice spray pattern, atomizes with the, the compressed air. Turns okay, into a so nice this, flame. This, this atomizes. So let's talk to the people over here about this now. What we're doing is we're doing what these these guys are doing is a hot section inspection. In other words, they're going into the hot end of the engine, the end where the business end of the engine, where uh, it makes all the noise and it makes all the heat and temperature. So fuel is injected right here through the fuel manifold that we've just talked about. We've got 11 fuel nozzles in there that are set up for primary and secondary. I'm guessing that the primary is kind of for starting. And the secondary is for running at high speed. That's Would that be a yep. good we're, assumption yes. there? Yeah. Oh, I'm a pretty smart fellow, aren't I? You are. You're not doing too bad so far. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're making it up as we go here. So, right. uh, so so bust my balls if I <laughs> if I screw it up, would you? All right, so what we're looking at right here now, well, this will be the second stage turbine wheel, I'm guessing, low right? Low pressure, second stage low pressure turbine. Okay, and then behind here, we're going to have a stator right in there. And, That's correct. And you guys are fixing to bust these out here we in a minute will, or two. We'll move the low pressure uh, assembly uh, as a unit. Okay. The first and second stage. And, uh, and the then inside there, where your, where your fuel nozzles, these are where your fuel nozzles go, is That's that correct? correct? Okay, your fuel okay. nozzles go here, and those things are inserted into the combustion liner, right? That is correct. Oh, okay. The combustion liner goes forward. Okay. Uh, I haven't forgot anything, uh, no, anything you're good. yet. <laughs> okay, but we can look through here and we can see this big bypass duct right up there, uh, there fellas. And the bypass duct right there is this, this core engine actually blows the fire out the, the back end here, and, and this spins the core of the engine, and the core actually spins the fan, which is way up there in the front. And then it produces additional thrust by forcing air out this uh, out this bypass duct we got back here in the back. So, how long have you been working on these things? Oh shoot, about uh, 30 years. 30 years. About 30 years. Oh gosh, some yep. people never learned it. That's right, right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna be a rock star. You're gonna be a rock star. So these guys are using multipliers on the third stage of the LTPT and fixing to bust this wheel out of the back end of this uh, Pratt & Whitney 545A. And there's popping. <laughs> I'm impressed you can read uh, still the original production stamps off these blades. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep on? No, let it off. 
Yeah, he's very well thought of. He's, uh, he's actually a visiting judge out there by that time. Uh, Beat the OBI. Hey, Todd. Yes. Can you come here for a second? I can't lift this because I don't know what's going to happen. I'll pull it way down. I'm going down on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and the turbine tax. <laughs> he can't do it by himself. He got to have help. <laughs> That's great. That's a half a million dollars right there. Man. So I'll pull it. What I'll do is I'll pull it down. And you two grab a hold of it. Got it. I'll get it off the shaft. I got it. 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 All right. You want to explain to me what you got there now? There's the low pressure turbine stack. Three stages. Uh huh. Turns into uh, your your gas path. It's the tail end of your gas path. It's uh, connected to your low pressure turbine shaft. We're looking at the business end of this little 545, right. right? That's right. Turns that big fan on the front side. All right. And they're getting more of the staters out here too, right? Uh, there's That's the, the second there's oh, So the purpose of doing hot section inspections on here is so we can go in, can go in there and find cracks and all kinds of little an anomalies that are not... All right, you're putting another force multiplier on there to get the next wheel out? Yes, take the HPT disc out of there. HPT disc coming out. These are some pretty high-tech tools you guys got. 3400.
I was ready five minutes ago. <laughs> you don't have an ungood let off there, okay. You don't have to ask me if I'm ready. <laughs> if I'm ready, because when you put it up here, I'm ready. <laughs> Little dumpling makes all the noise, right? Yep. So it makes it all happen. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of the hot section inspection, we're going to be looking for curled blades. We're going to be looking yep. for heat distress. Burning cracks. They're going to, they're going to separate. Okay, you said that was what now? That's an air seal. Oh, the, that's the number four seal. carbon seal? Yeah. Oh yeah, and you can see all those little brushes in there that's right. what they're you calling. See how they're all angled one way? Yep. So if people get in and do a boroscope inspection and they want to rotate the engine, and if they rotate the engine the wrong way, you lose some of, you lose a lot of efficiency with that seal. Ah. Okay, but that thing shouldn't spin if the airplane's just sitting out there windmilling like it is right now. Oh right, that's the Because that's just the fan. Yeah, that's your high pressure there. All right, you're about ready to get this diffuser plate whatever it is out of here, right? We're going after this carbon seal in here, and then oh I think we're done. Uh -huh. oh, i got to get the transfer tubes, the oil transfer tubes off there yet as well. All right. And that will be a disassembled engine, man. That will be one disassembled engine. All the way down for the hot section inspection. See any good cracks in this one? Yeah, right there. That's pretty good, actually, there. There's a good there. one right here. Look at this one. Oh yeah, that's a good burn through there, isn't it? Okay, so these engines are required a hot section Amazing. inspection uh, every 2,500 hours with a 5,000 hour overhaul. The hot section inspection is done just specifically because the heat distress that you see right down here occurs and these things start coming apart. You start losing real expensive blades out of that turbine wheel and what have you back there, right? Yep. So these guys are going to take all these parts back to the shop, they're going to inspect them, repair them as necessary, and recertify them, put them back together and bring them back and stick them in the airplane. Do the engine runs and make sure they run right, right? That's right. All right. Oh, good grief. Look at that. The infamous combustion liner finally makes an appearance. Any big chunks missing there? No, not that I see. No big chunks, but it's going to take very big chunks to scrap this piece. Oh, no. That's not like the old uh, Generous Electric where you got the cowl and dome and the shroud that goes with it and you all put them in a jig and weld them up, right? No, no. Not like that. And that right there, the back side of that, is where those fuel nozzles plug into that. There's fuel nozzles we looked at earlier, and that's where the flame is all started from. And that's what makes those little turbine wheels and blades spin around that we were looking at. Fuel nozzles squirting straight here, straight again.